IELTS Speaking Part 2 Topic Describe a time when you faced a language barrier. When and where did you encounter the language barrier? What difficulties did you experience? How did you manage to communicate or overcome the barrier? What did you learn from the experience? One of the most memorable instances where I encountered a language barrier was during my backpacking adventure in a remote village nestled deep in the heart of the Amazon rainforest. It was a couple of years ago when I decided to embark on an off-the-beaten-path expedition to explore the rich biodiversity and immerse myself in the indigenous culture of the region. I arrived at the village after an arduous journey that involved traversing dense forests and crossing treacherous rivers. As soon as I set foot in the village, I realized that the language spoken by the locals was vastly different from any I had encountered before. They conversed in a rare dialect of the indigenous tribe residing in the area. The difficulties I experienced were manifold. Firstly, there were hardly any people who could communicate in English, which made it incredibly challenging for me to convey my thoughts or understand theirs. It was as if I had entered a realm where words held no meaning. Moreover, the local dialect was punctuated with complex idioms and expressions, rendering even basic communication a baffling task. Despite the language barrier, I was determined to connect with the locals and learn about their way of life. I relied on nonverbal cues, such as gestures and facial expressions, to convey my intentions. Simple actions like smiling or nodding became my means of expressing gratitude or agreement. Additionally, I carried a small pocket dictionary that contained basic translations, enabling me to communicate essential information. Gradually, I developed a deeper understanding of the indigenous culture by actively participating in their daily activities. I assisted in the harvest, learned their traditional dances, and observed their rituals. Over time, I began to pick up a few words and phrases, which allowed me to form basic sentences and establish a rudimentary level of communication. This experience taught me the value of patience and perseverance when faced with a language barrier. It highlighted the importance of nonverbal communication and the ability to adapt to unfamiliar circumstances. I discovered that true connections can be forged even without a shared language, as human emotions and gestures are universal. Moreover, this encounter instilled in me a profound respect for diverse cultures and languages. It made me realize that linguistic barriers can be overcome with open-mindedness and a genuine desire to connect with others. I also gained a newfound appreciation for the power of language as a tool for bridging gaps and fostering understanding between people from different backgrounds. In conclusion, my encounter with a language barrier in the remote Amazon village was a transformative experience. Despite the difficulties I faced, I managed to communicate and form meaningful connections with the locals by relying on nonverbal cues and basic translations. This encounter taught me invaluable lessons about patience, adaptability, and the importance of embracing diversity. It is an experience I will forever cherish and draw upon in my future endeavors. IELTS Speaking Part 2 Topic Describe a time when you had to overcome a language barrier. When did this situation occur and who was involved? What languages were being spoken or written? What challenges did you face in overcoming the language barrier? How did you manage to communicate and understand each other? In a world where interconnectivity is key, encountering language barriers can be both a challenging and enlightening experience. One incident that remains vivid in my memory occurred during my backpacking adventure across Southeast Asia a couple of years ago. Engulfed in the vibrant and bustling streets of Hanoi, Vietnam, I found myself navigating through a labyrinth and hodgepodge of cultural diversity, as I interacted with locals who spoke limited English. The situation unfolded in a quaint tea shop tucked away in an alleyway. As I entered, the tinkling of chimes greeted me, and a warm aroma of tea leaves enveloped the room. Seated at a corner table was an elderly woman named Lin, the shop's owner. Her smile was as inviting as the atmosphere, prompting me to strike up a conversation. However, I quickly realized that her command of English was rudimentary at best, 
while my knowledge of Vietnamese was limited to a handful of basic phrases. The disparity in our language skills presented a considerable challenge. Our initial attempts at communication resembled a verbal dance, each of us making a hesitant move, only to be met with confusion. It was like trying to decipher a complex puzzle with missing pieces. This was more than a mere linguistic hurdle, it was a test of patience, creativity, and empathy. Amidst this linguistic impasse, I decided to embrace the power of nonverbal communication. I used gestures, sketches, and even shared pictures on my phone to convey my thoughts. Lynn responded in kind, using a combination of drawings and facial expressions. It was a beautiful fusion of ingenuity and determination, a symphony of communication devoid of linguistic constraints. Gradually, our interaction ceased to be a struggle and transformed into a harmonious exchange. Laughter became our universal language, transcending the barriers erected by words. As we leafed through a Vietnamese English dictionary together, we stumbled upon a profound realization. The essence of human connection extends far beyond language, spanning across cultures and backgrounds. Our triumphant moment arrived when I managed to explain my love for tea, not through words, but by mimicking the joy of sipping a cup and letting out a contented sigh. Lynn reciprocated with a twinkle in her eyes, pouring me a cup of her finest blend. That instant marked the convergence of two worlds, bridged by sheer determination and an unquenchable thirst for understanding. This encounter taught me that while language is undoubtedly a potent tool for communication, it's the shared intent to connect that truly matters. Our ability to persevere through the labyrinth of linguistic disparities unveiled a deeper, more profound understanding of humanity. As I left the tea shop that day, I carried with me not only the fragrance of tea but also the scent of a successful communication conquest, proving that true communication goes beyond words, transcending every barrier in its path. IELTS Speaking Part 2 Topic Describe a time when you had to adapt your communication style. What was the situation or context in which you had to adapt? Why did you need to adjust your communication style? How did you modify your communication approach? What were the results or effects of your adapted communication? There was a pivotal moment in my professional life when I had to adapt my communication style significantly. This occurred during an international business conference where I was slated to present a proposal to a diverse audience comprising individuals from various cultural backgrounds. The situation was such that my usual direct and forthright manner of presenting would not suffice. The audience included delegates from countries where communication tends to be more nuanced and indirect, placing a higher value on politeness and subtlety. It became abundantly clear that I needed to tailor my approach to ensure my message was not only understood but also well received. The necessity to adjust my communication style arose from the intricacies of intercultural communication. In my home country, a direct approach is often seen as a sign of honesty and efficiency. However, in this context, such an approach could be perceived as abrasive and disrespectful. The cultural divergence mandated that I embrace a more circumspect and diplomatic style of communication. To modify my communication approach, I began by conducting thorough research on the cultural norms and communication preferences of the audience members. This preparation included learning about the appropriate levels of formality, acceptable body language, and even the pace at which to deliver my speech. During my presentation, I consciously employed softer language and made extensive use of euphemisms to avoid any potential offense. I also interspersed my speech with pauses to allow for better absorption of information and used inclusive language to foster a sense of collaboration and respect. The results of my adapted communication were remarkable. Not only was my proposal received with enthusiasm, but several delegates also commended me on my sensitivity and respect for their cultural nuances. This experience taught me the crucial importance of adaptability in communication. By stepping out of my comfort zone and adopting a more culturally aware approach, I was able to forge stronger connections and achieve my objectives more effectively. 
In conclusion, adapting my communication style for an international audience was a transformative experience. It underscored the pivotal role of cultural awareness in effective communication and highlighted the importance of being flexible and receptive to different communication styles. This adaptability not only enhanced my professional relationships, but also broadened my perspective on global interactions. Hope you liked our video. Please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to keep us motivated.